2018 is coming to a close. Can you believe how quickly the year goes by? I've been at Judicial Watch now 20 years. And uh, every year it seems we uncover more and more in the way of significant government corruption. And uh, Congress, as I point out, isn't doing their work. The media is in bed with the deep state and has an outrageous far-left agenda that doesn't comport with, the, what most, with what most Americans are concerned about, which is an out-of-control corrupt government. And in the case of this current situation, we have an, a concerted effort by federal government agencies in line with allies in Congress and the media to overthrow the President of the United States. And that's the corruption story of our time. That is the corruption issue of 2018. Uh, and uh, I went through and looked through all of the materials that we've been able to uncover this year in 2018. And I pulled out a few that I thought were of particular importance that it's worth resharing with you who may not have heard about it when we first released the material or reminding you about it because a lot of this material is still important, even if it goes back as far as a year ago. So let me start from the beginning. I guess I'll, I don't know how I organized all of these. Got my usual overwhelming amount of paper here to show you everything we've got. Uh, and I'm gonna go back to the beginning and it goes with the Clinton emails. You know, cause I've always been convinced the Russia collusion story or the, uh, in the get Trump effort it's never been about getting Trump. I mean, it is. But it's always been about protecting Hillary Clinton. Because if the Justice Department is spending all of its time harassing President Trump, it's never going to enforce the rule of law against Hillary Clinton. So that leaves it up to groups like Judicial Watch to at least highlight the areas that need to be pursued against Hillary, Clinton's, Hillary Clinton and her associates. And to that end, Judicial Watch just hasn't stopped. And we found in the beginning of January of 2018, uh, 18, at least 18 classified emails from the Hillary Clinton email server on Anthony Weiner's laptop. 18 classified emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop. Now you may remember at the end of 2016, they found Anthony Weiner's laptop had a bunch of emails from Hillary Clinton's email server because Yuma Abedin, Anthony Weiner's lap, uh, wife, was a close associate of Hillary Clinton at the State Department and had a secret email account on Hillary Clinton's private email server. Uh, and Aberdeen was doing all sorts of government business on this server as well. So the FBI, in investigating Anthony Weiner for his uh, sex crimes, uncovered these emails. Now, they tried to suppress them unsuccessfully. And of course, it took Judicial Watch to sue to find out what Hillary Clinton emails and other government emails were on the system. And we found 18 classified emails. So I think that's a pretty big corruption story in 2018. That Hillary Clinton's email server led to classified information being on Anthony Weiner's laptop, including information about discussions about Saudi Arabia, The Hague, Egypt, South Africa, Zimbabwe, the identity of a CIA official, the war in Syria, Lebanon, Hamas, and the PLO. That's the type of classified information that was on the Wiener laptop. That it was the Judicial Watch disclosed the details of that to you, not Congress, not the media. Uh, 